Hi, I'm Dr. Joe with Affordable Wellness and today we're going to talk about heating pads. I'm going to show you what I think is the best way to use one and then afterwards, as with most of my videos, I'm going to explain why. Now the heating pads that I'm going to demonstrate with is an electric heating pad. Nothing special about it. Plugs into the wall, has a, a little switch so you can decide how much heat you want. And one feature that most new heating pads have is this, a piece of cloth. Now the cloth itself isn't important, it's just that you have one. So if you have a new heating pad, it should have this in it somewhere. And if you have an older heating pad, you can just take a washcloth or something like that. And what you want to do, plug in your heating pad, turn it up so it's getting nice and hot, take the piece of cloth, run it under a faucet, get it nice and wet, and then wring it out. You want to get out just about as much moisture as you can. You don't want this dripping or sopping wet, just damp. And then what you want to do is put it right inside the cover. Some covers will have kind of a fold over kind of thing. Uh, this one has a snap doesn't really matter. You put it in the cover and with the heating pad turned on, fold the heating pad over that damp cloth. What that's going to do is it's going to trap the heat in there and heat up that damp cloth really fast. If you just put the damp cloth in there and put it straight on the area that you're trying to work on, uh, it's going to take five to ten minutes just to get that damp cloth warm. By folding it over, that's going to happen a lot quicker and then when you're ready to use it, it's already nice and hot. Now what you want to do, let's say I'm working on my shoulder, I've got this heated up, I'm going to put the damp part directly over my shoulder, okay? And I'm going to keep it there for about 20 to 30 minutes. That's all the time you need to get everything nice and hot, get the blood flow going and all that stuff. And then you're going to take it off, let the area cool down for at least an hour and a half. Uh, more than that doesn't really matter, but you want to wait at least an hour and a half before you do this again. Once that hour and a half is over, take your heating pad, everything's nice and hot put it back over that spot for another 20 to 30 minutes. You can do this as many times as you want throughout the day. I suggest trying to get in at least three times. That seems to be uh, the magic number to where things really, really improve. And that's basically it. If you have a heating pad, uh, you know, like a bean bag type heating pad or a rice bag that you heat up in the microwave, you can use that. Just make sure that you're able to get moist heat from it. Some of those bags will already provide a moist heat. Some you'll have to use a damp cloth with it as well. The only disadvantage to those is if it's got a cloth covering and you put dampness on it, you run the risk of mold. Also, they tend not to stay warm long enough to heat up the damp cloth and provide you 20 to 30 minutes of heat. So that's why I prefer an electric heating pad. So that's how you do it. Damp cloth with the heating pad, 30 minutes on, hour and a half off. Do that two or three times a day and that'll have a huge improvement. Now on to the why. The reason we want to do it this way is because if you just put the heating pad on an area with no moisture, the body is going to sense the dryness in the skin and it's actually going to send fluids there. So you're going to increase swelling and edema in that area. And sometimes it'll actually aggravate whatever you're trying to work on, a sore muscle or joint, and you don't want to do that. That's usually what is going on when people say heat makes it worse. That's usually what it is. So by adding this damp cloth, the body senses that moisture and does not send extra fluid there. But because of the heat, you will still get an increase of circulation. So you have all the benefits of the heat with none of the side effects. Also, the dampness will actually carry the heat deeper into the tissue. So you're getting the heat to penetrate more, you're reducing the negative effects of the heat, and uh, you, for most people it's actually more comfortable. They, they tend to prefer how that feels. So that's the reason we want to use the moist heat. So that's how you use a heating pad. You can use it on joints, muscles, just about any ache or pain that you have and do that cycle 30 minutes on, hour and a half or more off. Uh, again, as many times as you want throughout the day as long as you're keeping to those rules. Um, if you want to find out any more information, uh, feel free to catch any of my other videos at our YouTube channel, Affordable Wellness, or visit us at the office at 808 Worth Street in Mount Airy.